right, guys, get ready to do a collective read. We're going to see what the energy is out there right now. We have the strength card. Trust. So this may be a time for you to have to be strong and make it through something, push through something. That is the energy I'm feeling. That's why I was told to do another reading. <clears throat> the beauty or the feminine card, the beauty, stability. It's going through some sort of transformation. What fell out is activating a new beginning. Activation and new beginning. All right. So there's some sort of new... Under the deck is chaos. You may be going through something chaotic. You may not. You may be kind of like on the outsides of it, the outskirts, something like that. But something could be changing in your home, your money, your work. Okay. I have two. It came out. Breathe and blessed. No place like home. Being happy, being thankful where you're at, being at home. Um, breathe is in reverse. You may need to calm down. You need to also be able to acknowledge the what you have, this, your surroundings, your blessings. Okay, what is going on right now? What is the energy? I'm gonna use this deck again for the collective. Overall energy is the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Whew, under the under the deck is the strength card. Someone is really like freaking out here. I can feel it. I don't know if it's you or someone else who's going to be maybe reaching out to you. I don't think there's anything bad going to happen. Just FYI. Um, some of you are meant to just like be at home, stay at home though. Um, be thankful for your home. Some of you may be heartbroken, may be reaching out. Possibly a fire sign. There's something here where there is a tower you can see down here and somebody is tired of it we have leo and scorpio energy tired of tired of living there tired of the home maybe someone is leaving splitting up the outcome here is five of swords a wish fulfilled justice and the ace of cups it could be that someone is leaving a relationship and moving towards new love and it is coming in with justice Someone could be, okay, let's go to this, let's go to this deck. I wasn't going to use this one, but I think this is definitely a love read. So someone could actually come to your home. I get the Ten of Cups and no place like home. I get breathe in reverse. Um, it could be kind of surprising, like if someone just shows up. I mean, you know this person, it's like an ex or something, so, but still. Someone may be regretting past choices. Okay, what do we need to know, Spirit? What is the energy? Okay, so there's a lot of chemistry, but they're heartbroken and exhausted, wanting to sit down and talk. A soulmate. There's some sort of divine intervention. It's time. There's a shocking past life shock. Wow. Shocking past life shock. Dreaming of you. Strongly attracted. We have thinking of you, missing you. Someone is like really going through it. That's why they're gonna just show up spying. Okay, one more, one more. But not revealing their hand. Under the deck is confession, withdrawn. Unexpected, withdrawing confessions, more to find out. This is a lot like the one I did earlier. The shocking, and you got shock and shocking out in this one. So there's a lot of chemistry, but they're heartbroken and exhausted. They want to sit down. The divine intervention. Karma. It could be karma. What is divine intervention? We got judgment. Divine intervention. A wish fulfilled. Nine of cups. Not wanting to see. Walking away. Okay. Chemistry and heartbroken would mean that somebody was only in it for the sex. Only for, you know, the physical. And someone is realizing that that's what happened it was not love it was just the nine of cups and i always say in my readings that, that is not love when i read tarot <clears throat> it's a good time and someone didn't want to know that or see that that's actually what happened i have a feeling you're going to have an ex coming back to you confessing something to you that they made a really really big mistake 
and that they're shocked at what they did in the past. It doesn't have to be a past life. It just means what they did. Shocking dream of you. Shocking. What is so shocking? It says turmoil, trouble, and unexpected. The wheel, the six of wands, the seven of cups, the knight of coins, the three of coins, and let me see one more. Four of coins. I feel kind of like they thought they were getting away with something or that like they were the winner but then when they stopped and looked at that looked at their life where they're at what they have they're looking back like they don't have what they used to have with you it's not the same they miss getting along um it's almost like waking up and realizing like like if you had no money all your friends were gone like they weren't real friends they were just there because you had money and booze and like a good time partying there's someone looking back at what they have now compared to what they had back then with you and now they're kind of like whoa um it's like they're holding on to their coins their chips they're worried about losing anymore they may have lost something lost money three of coins here okay they could be looking or spying on uh, you show me then there's just the shock sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany what is this epiphany they could have had a dream about you knight of cups the ace of coins the ace of cups the ace of wands oh my goodness and knight of wands seven six of cups seven is really regretting being a player in the past under the deck is hierophant so what i'm seeing now breathe in reverse and bless someone did not see what they had sometimes you know people do they get like antsy like they got to get out of it they got to move they got to do something different they were bored that's how i feel the breathe in reverse they weren't like just calming down they didn't see that they had a beautiful home family whatever with you that they were blessed and they don't have that anymore so I'm going to say this, of course, whatever you choose to do with this person is, you know, your free will. You do not have to get back together with them just because this reading is showing up. I think what it's showing is there is a whole cycle here coming to some sort of completion. There could be a conversation is what it looks like. They want to sit down. They want to talk to you. They want to talk it out. doesn't mean you have to get back together, but it's activating a new beginning, a new cycle, a new, you know, um, it could be the lesson is now, you know, learned, understood. So just, it's, you may have to be strong a little longer. You may have to, um, strength and trust. The feminine energy stability is transforming and it's activating a new beginning. What is the message here? Wait, there's interference with regret to support past life love. Abundance. Right now, different pages. It's unavailable. Something's unavailable. True love. Unavailable. True love. Listening to intuition. New love. Twin flame. Second chance. Some of you, you may also have a question about someone like, are they going to be helpful? Are they going to be supportive? Are they going to be there for you? You're going to have your answer. There's interference here. Someone's regretting supporting someone from the past, giving them money right now. They're realizing they're on it. This is what the, what the cards are showing. I think the tarot, someone is realizing that they are not on the same page as the person they went off with. Unavailable, true love. It's not love. The person wanted money. Could have been a gold digger or something. Intuition, new love, twin flame, something like that. New love, twin flame. What is obstacles? There's, yeah, there's obstacles to this person. Obsession is awakening. They're obsessing. So what I'm kind of getting is you may have, the person may have been with you and you were their true love. All right. They got antsy. They got bored and they went off. They may have met their twin flame counterpart. Now, a lot of people make it sound very glamorous on YouTube. Twin flame journeys journeys are horrible most of the time because it's usually people who are working from their shadow side still and haven't, you know, learned all the, you know, lessons and things like that. They're finding out that this new love who this is calling it a twin flame has a lot of obstacles. It's not working out. They were obsessed. They're waking up to that. They're waking up to their obsession with this person or around that situation. 
And all of a sudden now they're uh, stressing out and wanting to come back because they see how easy they had it with you, how fun you were, how, you know, good of a partner you were to them. And they can't find that with this new person. This new person, um, there could be all kinds of crazy things going on in that connection. They could be, you know, there could be cheating, there could be lying, there could be, you know, theft, there could be, you know, all kinds of things. So what is going on in this other connection? Can you show us? The Hierophants in reverse, Temperance, Four of Swords is in reverse, Six of Wands, the Moon. See, this is that Breathe card to me in reverse. So there's no real relationship. It's all messed up. I'm trying to balance, but feeling agitated with the Four of Swords in reverse, not wanting to sit down, wanting to get up and take action. Victory, but it's an illusion. A message out of cups three of wands justice someone's willing to put their guard down they want to drop the third party they want to walk away they did they they really don't want to see that there was no love there the ace of cups they're sad but they're getting over it they're done done fighting over money child care custody whatever this is someone could have been a gold digger nine of coins is in reverse someone is not stable they're not independent could be a codependent connection Whatever this person went off and did, they really got themselves in a bind. They got themselves in a really bad relationship. And um, I think this I think this is this morning's reading where someone is kind of shocked with how things turned out. Shocked with the mistakes they made. Like, how could my life turn out like this? How could I end up here with this much drama and with someone who never loved me, was only with me for the money? Or, you know, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing, I've been seeing this for a week or so behind the scenes with someone and they're they're missing like the simple happy life they had with you so it was easy but this person got karma uh, they I, they truly did get karma okay so you're getting the reading because it's a heads up this person's going through it they could be wanting to talk to you they could be wanting to meet with you you can do whatever you want some of you wouldn't take this person back anyways it, you're just here to see what's going on. Anything else? Hang on, let me do that again because that didn't feel right. Here we go. Listen to your intuition. There was a lot of mistakes made because there was bad judgment at the time. Someone may confess. Confession that things are starting to change. There's romantic feelings. They want to talk. That's It's meant to be this way. There's some sort of conflict or they're conflicted about listening or talking. I'm sorry. Probably conflicted about reaching out to you they probably know you may not want to listen or hear what they have to say withdrawn unexpected regret regret trying to hide it but you were loyal and now they can't let go they're trying to run the runner but there's a magnetic attraction here the divine feminine reaching out anxiety more to find out, more to learn, escaping. Wow. I don't all I know is that if you're not involved with all this drama, be thankful because it's going on right now and there's a lot happening like this. But if you are just on the sidelines, this is just a peak. I think this divine feminine is someone else. This is the other person they're dealing with. Um, there's a lot of running, chasing, escaping type of energy going on, a lot of hot, cold drama. Um, I feel like they may want you to reach out. Maybe they're trying to manifest you to reach out if you're also the feminine viewing this. Maybe they're hoping that um, you'll pick up on this energy that they're sending your way and you will call them or text them or something. But I don't know if you pick up on that or if you would even want to reach out. Probably wouldn't want to get involved in the drama because I'm, I could see like there could be a lot of things going on. There could be gambling debt. There could be problems with money. There could be um, kids involved, things like that. So, wow. All right, Spirit, any advice in closing for what you should do? Is there any advice for my viewers for what you should do? Walk away, let it go, be happy, Eight of Cups, you're not involved. There's some sort of closure around the full moon this week. Mm, perfect, yep, tower. It's not your tower though. If you're not directly involved in this, this is not yours, you don't have to even deal with it. Lovers. Hanged man. I 
Ten of Coins, King of Swords, Temperance. You could feel like a, uh, some feelings around that time, the full moon time that aren't your own. You may be picking up on like anxiety. Um, you may feel, you know, stressed out. You may be sad. You may be thinking, these aren't my feelings. I don't know why I'm feeling this way because you're not. These are picking up, you're picking up on this person. This is, again, someone who's not independent, someone who could be a gold digger, who was just there, you know, their sex for money type of relationship, and someone is not happy with the King of Swords energy. So just careful that there could be a message, a random message around that time. Someone could be trying to possibly do some sort of maybe spell work or magic to get you to reach out first or something like that also could be happening. You could feel a little woozy or dizzy or have some really weird th dreams around, you know, 2 a.m. or so. Just be aware of what's going on. Kind of has the feeling of the Aries reading I just did, which was kind of weird and kind of a little bit, I think it was Scorpios or this morning's reading as well. So anyways, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a great week.